gonna get you one you can absorb. I never go back on my promise. Your hero, Chisha's on the hunt. Let me be your blade. <sighs> I'm okay. Shake the shapeless. Swift and resolute. Can you reenact what you did before? Hmm. Maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Yay! It worked! I've never seen a gourd... got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same. Unexpected discovery. <laughs> One with the sound. Moment of resonance. One with the sounds. No hesitation. Let me be your blade.
Rover? <laughs> there you are. My dearest. Seed of fate. What should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the Gorges of Spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them in time. Then I'll go submit our report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. political hub of Jinzhou, and where the Grand Library is located. The City Hall is an important place. Seeking an audience with a magistrate isn't too difficult, but there are still rules to follow. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first, and we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinzhou and all, she can't be left standing outside the City Hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? I'll give you a call once the paperwork is done. Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. Yes. A physical examination would be required to determine if any disease is present. If no medical issues are found, we'll conduct further monitoring and analysis to understand what happened to your body. Of course, we won't do anything without your consent. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats to try out. You think it, we have it.
Princess Tower. Exactly. Let me see. Uh, think of it as Jinjo's largest service station. Or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here. arrangements in place. Rover, you can come visit the magistrate at any time. Shusia, do you mind bringing Rover over to the city hall? VIP the magistrates expect it. Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking about it. Gil, first time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people were advised to. Most people were advised to leave by the Magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either trying to apply for some other people, or just too stubborn to leave. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sanhua, and they were compelled to leave. What kind of description is that? Sounds like they've met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. She's the Magistrate's personal bodyguard. 
I've heard of her before. She's the all-round Death Glare slash Terminator Ice Beauty. That's what the rumors say, at least. There is a small chance she's not in the City Hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou, or rather, it's nearly impossible for the Magistrate to leave Jinzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the Magistrate of Jinzhou, leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed, unless she's engaged on a business trip or when Jinjo's safety is under threat. Yep, there's gotta be something big if that's the case. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Sure it can. Have you thought of something, Rover? You mean... I can't really keep up with your thoughts, but I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anyway, our magistrate's the best lead we have for now, no matter what she has in store for Rover. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? In that case, how about meeting with the Magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the City Hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right! We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear ya! Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. You mean I'm not the VIP the magistrate's expecting? Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking about it. Follow me. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. 
This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You. You share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Yes, it's the gourd on your waist. The device every resonator carries. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the City Hall. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Anything I can help you with, Rover? With pleasure. What do you wish to know about Jinjo? Jinjo is not the most populated city in Huanglong. As a border city, it is the front line encountering tacit discord outbreaks. <sighs> Jinjo holds a special place in my heart. I can't say I am too familiar with my hometown, but I do feel a homely sense of attachment to Jinjo. Maybe it's because here lives a person who changed my life. Hmm. If I were to introduce Jinjo with my own words, I'd say it's a city one would easily grow attached to with pleasure. What do you wish to know about Jinjo? The Midnight Rangers under General Jian's command, 
are our garrison in Jinzhou. They consist of the vanguards for offensive operations against tacit discords and the rear guards for city defense. Additionally, there is a detachment unit called the Outriders, mostly made up of volunteers or reservists who serve as reconnaissance agents. Most of the servicemen of today are comprised of resonators. With pleasure. What do you wish to know about Jinjo? Anything I can help you with, Rover? Of course. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Our magistrate's birth name was Si. She took on the name Jin Si when she became the magistrate of Jinjo. Nowadays, she is usually addressed as Madam Magistrate. Of course. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. She is also known as the Loom Maiden because of her resonance connection with our sentinel, Jue, who manifests in the shape of a loom. The ways Huan Long's magistrates interact with their corresponding sentinels can differ. In Jinjo, our magistrate seems to share a familial bond with the sentinel, though this is what I understand from what she has told me. I have only seen our sentinel a handful of times, of course. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. It depends on Madam Magistrate, and... It depends on your decision, Rover. Please pardon me. This is all I can say at the moment. Of course. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Anything I can help you with, Rover? With pleasure. What do you wish to know about the tokens? I suggest looking into where these tokens come from. Examine their locations of origin and explore the sites or past events they represent. Then you should uncover the message Madam Magistrate wanted to convey and hopefully learn everything you want to know with pleasure. What do you wish to know about the tokens? Of course, it is fully up to you. With pleasure. What do you wish to know about the tokens? Anything I can help you with, Rover? Of course. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. I'm afraid not. I have never seen you before. If I had, I would never forget you. Anything I can help you with, Rover? So Madam Magistrate's not in the City Hall. Ha <clears throat> <laughs> it sure is! Trisia. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our Magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover! I'm afraid. While we 
We've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long. And we're talking about Jinzhou of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equal the Legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Chizya. Do you have any plans, Rover? Fair point? A three-day vacation it is. Let's go chill out then. We'll figure out the tokens when we have the chance. <gasps> Ooh, reminds me of the tokens of love in those stories. It sounds like you're off to a secret date or something. What is our magistrate planning to do with these token puzzles? A soulmate? Hmm. So, Madam Magistrate left some hidden clues in her tokens. Clues that only the right person would be able to decipher. But Rover has lost all memories and would likely forget any kind of decryption method they agreed on. It doesn't quite make sense. Or maybe... She is trying to make Rover notice something else? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So? What's so special about them? So Chizya and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. See? Just open the util- See? See? Just open the Utilities, select the Grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you've got to master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover.
wait a sec. Someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry. It's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yang Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll if you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Stop! Stop! Don't call me that! Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys, and he's always open to their requests. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Well, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the Sugar Pearl might be unique to Huang Long? 
I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals, perhaps. The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huanglong local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with reliable data. Seconded. Let's find out through actual testing, then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. When a resonator's mental capacity is overwhelmed, they may lose control of their forte causing an overflow of resonance energy. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. A universe. That's a poetic and intriguing comparison. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Simulated training ground. Don't worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. <laughs> One with the sound. Commence healing. 
Let thee be your blade. Swift and resolute, one with the sound. We've gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? I'm back to the same spot again. And this... Moon? What is happening? Are those tacit discords? what you saw? Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated Sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Yotan and I will ensure your safety. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? 
Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scan it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We could certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well... Since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Mr. Mortify? Is that the person you were talking to earlier? Mr. Xiang Li Yao, I think? Yes. It doesn't take me much effort to figure out this little sundial here. But I do admit talking with Xiang Li made it easier. He's the expert in automata mechanics I mentioned earlier. The only principal investigator we currently have.
Mr. Mortify? We found the parts. Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20-year-old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the disks are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. You... Ooh, hold on. Remember when I said, don't force it open. Crank that thing another five degrees, and not even Zhang Li Yao will be able to save it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huanglong's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives. Namely, the grand libraries. Yes, the large data repositories located in Huanglong's major cities. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner, too. on the way shelf. Mao Cheng Su. Wu Wei. Grover, it's here. If I remember correctly, Jen 
Hojo was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Jinjo City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Jinjo's founding. And the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the crownless. so far. Our clues point to the sugar pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The magistrate had information to share while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her making it seem like she is complicating matters. Maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... She needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Mm. If it were you, Yang Yang, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chimpy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just locked the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha! Alright, I still owe you a meal! 
The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panqua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow.